This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics. We're selling this truck on eBay and elsewhere. It is a 2003 Dodge Ram 1500. That's a half ton crew cab. It has a 5.7 liter Hemi. It is four wheel drive and it is an SLT model. We purchased this from an uh, not from a from a repo company. Uh, it was a repo out of Arkansas. American Car Mart was called. I think it's something like CarMax. Anyway, uh, obviously somebody decided to drive their vehicle to Arizona and not pay for it, and so they repoed it and sold it here, and uh, it's a nice truck, really nice truck. Um, let's kind of show you around it here. It's got 102,000 miles. Tires look like they have about 20% tread, maybe 30% tread. I'll kind of go around and get more specific on each tire. For black paint, this thing looks really good. I mean, gosh, if every 03 with black paint looked like this, we would be very happy. There's a little bit of staining right there. As you can tell, the truck is running. Over there. your passenger front tire. I mean, if you were going to go out of Arizona, I would recommend tires. Uh, we can uh, recommend a tire guy. You can uh, pay for it uh, by credit card over the phone. We'll get the tires on him at Discount Tires. And then you'll have a brand new set of tires, tax-free, and with our 20% discount. Um, if you want, or you could ship it and uh, not pay taxes, not pay dock fees, and and uh, do the tires yourself in your state if it goes out of state. But I think these tires are okay enough to get to Phoenix. It's got a nice spare. We don't guarantee spares, but it's got one. I see a little bubbling around these wheels, which means that this thing came from Arkansas, so it might be like the beginning of rust there. But uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. A little bubbling right in here. Uh, but now that it's in Arizona, it'll stop dead in its tracks. Um, the paint wasn't broken, so it should be okay. Pretty truck, man. It runs great. Where's your bed liner? Just your average bed liner. Nothing really to show there. It's got a few little dings right up on the top of the tailgate there. Let's see. I see the same kind of stuff. I see a little touch-up paint right here and a little bit of bubbling here. It doesn't look as bad as it did on the other wheel, but there's a little bit of it there. That's the only place in this truck I see that. Which is kind of where they fling up mud and snow and stuff up underneath the rear wheels. So that kind of makes sense. But uh, what I can see in the undercarriage, it looks all right. It's a little, that looks like detail. It, That'll come off. Detail shop missed that. Anyway, it's a pretty nice looking truck. Let me get on the roof here and show you the roof real quick. There's your roof. Nothing to really report other than it's a roof. Open the hood here for you. There's your Hemi running. Good sticker there. All these are uh, factory bolts untouched. There's your Mopar stamp right there. So you got no front end damage on this truck at all. Core support looks good. Lower core support looks good. Here's the pad, driver fender. There's your uh, Mopar sign there. Motor. Nice truck. I can't believe that uh, they didn't want to just ship this thing back to Arkansas and sell it again. Sounds to me like someone's a little lazy there. Anyway, there's a little bit of scuff right there on the rear door panel. Let's see. Got some tools I found. Some spare tools for the uh, spare tire, which is kind of cool. Looks like you got everything. Oh, it's missing a 
coat hook or a whatever you call it, hanger hook or whatever right there. Obviously we're not going to concern ourselves with that. We're not here to make cars brand, brand new. There's your bin right there. Everything's in the right place there. Usually we do theft recoveries, but this was there and, and uh, nobody was there that day and so I bought it. And uh, I'm very glad I did. This is a nice truck. Okay. Oh, it's nice in here. By the way, it's 106 today in Tucson. It's warm. It's not too bad, really. I mean, we get to 111, 112 all the time. But um, at the end of the summer, man, it's just time to end. 102, 500. 102,500. There's your pressures there. There's your overdrive. There's it off, on, off, on. Let's see. Okay, we got the air working great. Also has a radio that works good. You got your overhead cluster here that's working. All right. Let's see. Let's put it into. Oh, actually, let's just see that the cruise works. There you go. There's cruise on and off. Tilt right there, that works. This thing is really straight, really clean. Um, let's see, let's put it in neutral. Let's go down here and put it in four mil low. There you go. There's the four low. And yeah, that's definitely, I'm putting it in drive, I move forward, put it in reverse, reverse, definitely in four wheel drive. Now we're going to go all the way back to four wheel high. There's four wheel on. Put it in drive. And yes, that works fine. And you can still tell it's in four wheel. Just a less torque and four high. And in reverse. Perfect. Let's put it back into two high. Now we're back in two high and we're ready to go for a ride. All right. And if it's 101, I'm Abe Lincoln, all right? I've lived here my whole life, and there's no way it's 101. Maybe maybe this thing was inside. I think it was inside for a little while. So, maybe. Got a little too much shade a minute ago. But uh, we've had it running. We just did our pictures. We had it down I-10 and the whole bit. So, uh, it's been running for about an hour or so, and it runs great. Not overheating. And this weather, if it doesn't overheat, it ain't overheating. Um, nice running vehicle. My guess is, just based on the condition it is, is that it was probably one of their vehicles off of their dealership and it was probably bought and driven straight here and never made a payment type of thing. It's just in too good a shape. Usually when they get repoed, they're a mess and this one's not a mess. We did replace the windshield. It had a little crack really low behind the windshield wipers, but it was ugly so we put a new windshield uh, in it and we're waiting for a power seat switch. It goes back but doesn't go forward. Uh, we have that order from the dealer and uh, that'll get handled also. Let me jump on it here for you. There you go. Beautiful. Very smooth, no rattles. Uh, this is a nice truck. Zero to worry about. Um, it'll be very fairly priced. Uh, don't hesitate. Uh, four by four Hemis that are in good shape. Uh, even on salvage titles bring 10 grand so this thing I'm not even sure what this will bring because we never have repos but uh, this might bring somewhere in the uh, 8 to 8 to 10 region uh, please uh, be quick anyway that's all I appreciate your time and have a great weekend and that's all thank you